Good day and welcome to this video lectures about algebra. In this video lecture, I will discuss the basic on how to calculate the percentage of a number. So let's start. In this video, we are going to focus on calculating percentage. So here is, here is the first question. What is 15% of 400? How can we know the answer easily without using a calculator? Solving the question directly may be difficult. So you will start it with a simple number. Let's say you start with 10% of 400. To find the 10% of a number is simply move the decimal one unit to the left. So, 10% of 400 is equal to 40. Now, what is 5% of 400? 5% is half of 10%. So, what is half of, of 40? Half of 40 is 20. So, 5% of 400 is equal to 20. Therefore, 15% of 400 is, is the sum of 40 and 20, which is equal to 60. Let's have some more examples. Now, what is 25% of 500? Let's start with 10% of 500. 10% of 500 is 50. Just move the decimal one unit to the left. Now, what is 5% of 500? So, 5% of 500 is half of 50. So, 5% of 500 is 25. We already have 15%. So, we need another 10% of 500 to complete the 25%. So, another 10% of 500 is 50. Therefore, the 25% of 500 is the sum of these three, and this is equal to 125. Another example, what is 40% of 500? Following the same procedure as before, 10% of 500 is 50. So, 40% of 500 is simply, is simply 50 times 4. And this is equal to 200. So 40% of 500 is equal to 200. Let's move on to our next example. What is 23% of 90? First, let's calculate 10% of 90. 10% of 90 is 9. And 20% of 90 is basically 9 times 2, and that is equal to 18. Now we need to get to 23%. So it is helpful to find first the value of 1% of 90. If 10% of 90 is 9, 1% is basically 0 0.9. So if 1% is 0 0.9, what is the value of 3%? So to get 3% of 90, it is basically 0 0.9 times 3. And that is 2.7. Now to get to 23%, we need to add the 20% and 3%. And that is equal to 20.7. What is 33% of 80? As always, I'm going to start with 10% of 80. So 10% of 80 is 8. Now we need to find the 30% of 80. Our goal is to get up to 33%. 30% is basically 8 times 3. So 30% of 80 is 24. Now, our next thing that we need to find is 1% of 80. If we could, could find the value of 
we could find the value of 3%. Now, if 10% is 8, 1% is basically 8 divided by 10. So, 1% of 80 is 0 0.8. Just move the decimal one unit to the left. So, 3% of 80 is simply 0 0.8 times 3. So, 3% of 80 is 2.4. Since we are looking for 33%, we need to add the value of 30% and 3%. So, 33% of 80 is 26.4. Now, what is 18% of 8 of 39? So let's find the value of 10% of 39. So 10% of 39 is 3.9. Our goal is to get a total of 18%. Next is to find the value of 5% of 39. 5% is half of 10%. So half of 3.9 is 1.95. Now what about 1% of 39? If 10% is 3.9, 1% is 0 0.39. Now we need 3% of 39. 3% of 39 is basically 0 0.39 times 3. And that is equal to 1.17. Now what we need to do is to add 10%, 5%, and 3%. And that is equal to 7.02. So now you know how to calculate mentally the percentage of a number. And that is very useful when you are taking an examinations like university entrance exam or taking civil service exam wherein the use of calculator is not allowed. Thank you.